working. Oh, it did not show. You see it at all? And it is. Oh, hi. weirdly, it's not showing up on the actual thing itself. Mm. Oh, there we go. It is. No, that's an old one. Um, I'm actually so on on the side of the game. Do you see the? I'm getting the last connection from the other machine. Oh yeah, I see. I guess. It's still actually, sh weirdly, I tried it. I, I just wanted to delete, like, so it doesn't have all the crap of the prior things. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm still seeing all the crap of the prior things. Do you want me to take a look? Um, yeah, I'm trying trying to. Um. Uh, but, it, like, weirdly, on, on this, it, it's, it says it's gone. But when I look at it myself, mm -hmm. Okay, no, now it's mostly gone? Um, the only one I can see is the other. But there's one I'm sure of. But I've heard the cat say it. Hmm, weird. Like, like if you look at this one, it doesn't actually show anything. Am I missing something? Like I actually don't use the web interface, this, but this is a I, iPad interface. Uh, it might be a bit of latency because I can only see two tweets. Let me try again. 
Yeah, I can see two tweets too. Um, but I'm trying to get rid of one of them here first. So yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's something w w broken with web interface where I'm missing something. Can you, you can see this? Yeah, that seems to be good. So this is just showing the current stream? Yep. Okay, so it's working basically. Yeah. Cool. Let's see, how did we see the thing before? I guess we were able to see it on this thing before. Uh, but I, I guess I can just look at my phone. I know, it's like, what the heck is going on? It's a bunch of like, let's, let's get started bullshit, but no wonder, you know. It's, 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 it's okay, cool. Your own I, I, exactly. This is, then I'm like, am I, am I missing something? It's like, like, is there, a, what's the trick? DM from one account to another. I, I've, I only have two accounts. My Elon's account maybe it wasn't Smurf 9000 for testing new stuff. Um.
All right, let's see. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> Hi guys. Is audio coming through? Go okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. Let's see if this works. I'll try out it with the. It's very simple. We we'll start off with uh, a. <laughs> we'll start off with a sixty-nine dungeon. This should be fairly easy, ish. <laughs> hey guys, haha, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Mic check is good. All right, I can see, and I can see your comments. So. Uh, Haha, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Alright, so here I am playing Diablo. Um, I have like a candle over there for atmosphere. Yeah, I have some candles here too, uh, but uh, they're hard to see. There's a giant candle behind me. Um, all right. So, let's see. So I'll show you the what this build looks like. Now, some of the stuff is going to be like uh, super obvious to gamers and like super uh, complicated to if you're not a gamer. Um, but. Um, this is my character layout. So I'm playing a druid, and this is a. I started off playing a weird bear, pulverized druid, but that actually, that 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 worked well up till about, uh, like tier seventy ish dungeons. Um, then, uh, to really, be okay beyond that, I switched to a werewolf. Um, so like, werewolf, their wolf, their castle. Their yeah. anyway, that's a line from. Uh, Young Frankenstein. So I'm a, <laughs> in this case, a, a, a werewolf uh, druid, and um, I, I'm it, it's 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 pretty late right now, so I'm not gonna do uh, a high tier dungeon because uh, my I'm too tired to do that right now. So this is just like a level 69 dungeon, tier uh, tier, tier 69. So just to uh, give some background for those who have no idea what what the heck this is, this is Diablo 4. Um, this is the, the, the main game, uh, so it's not the seasonal. Uh, it's, that means it doesn't have like these things like called uh, malignant hearts, which amplify damage. Um, so uh, when I'm a little bit more rested, I will do a, a tier 100 dungeon solo uh, without using an ultimate skill. So um, I'll show you what my skill tree looks like. So, this is, um, Shredder, uh, Claw is the main attack, uh, the Claw, Claw is able to use, um, a Storm Strike, uh, because, uh, I have this Grey Staff of the Crone, uh, which, uh, allows Claw to be a Storm Strike, so, if I, uh, attack as a Werewolf, uh, that is actually also a Lightning Strike. Lightning, str <laughs> Lightning Strike. Uh, when combined with uh, Nature's Fury, uh, triggers uh, cooldowns of, non of the non-ultimate skills. Basically, I can cast the spells faster. Um, and then, uh, then I have something called uh, Nature's Fury, which um, has a 30% chance of casting a, the opposite kind of spell. So if I cast a Storm spell, it has a 30% chance to trigger a, a free skill of the other type. Um, and, um, and then I'm using, in this case, uh, the secondary attack of Bulwark. Bulwark is normally a, a shield, 
uh, spell. Um, it has a secondary modifier, which is uh, shrapnel. Um, and uh, so this is my main power attack. So I use uh, Claw to reset the cooldown on Earthen Bulwark so I can basically use what is supposed to be a shield as basically a weapon. Um, and then I have um, Poison Creeper. So uh, the, thi the interesting thing about Poison Creeper is actually also the uh, critical strike chance is increased by 20%. This is actually the reason to have Poison Creeper. That the damage done by it is not that high, uh, but it immobilizes, it immobilizes and poisons uh, the monsters. Um, and most, but really, what matters is, is increasing the critical strike chance by 20%. Um, then you got uh, Blood Hell for increasing your attack speed. Uh, and I've got uh, a uh, legendary as uh, aspect uh, which uh, gives you 9.5% critical strike chance. The game designers here obviously love uh, critical strike. Um, one of the mistakes I made initially with the, the build was doing a pulverized build focused on overpower. And um, that actually is uh, not nearly as good as a critical strike build. Um, so I'm basically doing a bunch of things to... This, this will heal, increase attack speed, and, inc and, and also with that legendary aspect, inc uh, give roughly 10% increase of critical chance. Um, the, it, the Cyclone Armor, actually I'm also using Cyclone Armor based on its modifier, not its primary. Cyclone Armor is also supposed to be a defense, but I'm using it as an offense here. Uh, primarily in, to, in order to slow enemies and knock them back and uh, make them vulnerable. Um, and then I Hurricane. Uh, Hurricane at, at, at rank 5 does a decent amount of damage, but actually, again, the modifier is the more important thing, which is to slow enemies down by uh, uh, normally 2 seconds, but I have a, a modifier for c crowd control uh, on my hat, which is uh, uh, giving me roughly 10% increased crowd control duration. So an extra roughly 0.2 seconds actually matters in this situation. Um, and it so, uh, and then uh, uh, another modifier to reduce the damage dealt by uh, enemies that are affected by hurricane damage. Um, so just to look, go through the primary equipment uh, layout. Um, so the, the you know hat gives you uh, increase in max life. Uh, some life on kill, uh, but most importantly, 6.6% uh, increase in total armor and a uh, damage reduction gain when I'm shapeshifted into werewolf. Um, the uh, armor is also, the chest armor is also giving me a damage reduction against distant enemy, overall 9% damage reduction, dexterity, which improves the critical strike chance gain, uh, and four ranks of earth, earth and bulwark. So uh, I'm at nine ranks of earth and bulwark. Um, I actually have <laughs> other equipment that'll enable me to get to rank 15 in Earth and Bulwark, but that doesn't really seem to matter. Um, and then uh, these are the gloves. Most important on the gloves is the increase in attack speed. Uh, the faster I can attack, the faster I can reset uh, uh, my spells, basically, um, and um, reset cooldowns on the spells. Uh, then. Um, my pants. <laughs> uh, it's really more of a skirt than pants, but whatever. Um, the uh, source of providing damage reduction, some help on the hurricane front. Uh, it's got the uh, basic skill, 20% damage reduction, which is important also, uh, and damage reduction while fortified. I'm almost always fortified. Uh, boots are giving me an increase in movement speed, more increase of w armor while werewolf. Uh, damage reduction while injured, so if my health goes low, and provided I don't get one shot killed, uh, the damage done by en enemies is dropped by 43%. And it's, it's slightly helpful to have a dodge. I'm not a huge uh, dodge user. Um, the Ghost Walker part is important. Uh, so w when I'm uh, in so-called unstoppable in the game, which is when the Earth of Bulwark is, a is active, um, I, I, my speed increases and I can move through enemies which is very important for dodging in real time. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm installing. Um, so this is not bad for like a just a little test. Um, <laughs> so th this is really just a test. So um, 
And it's, it's currently way too hard to do this. It's like, it took like hours to set this, this up. So we need to make it just effortless. Um, yeah, so anyway, the Ghost Walker uh, uh, sort of legendary imprint is very important here in, in the higher level dungeons uh, so that you don't get uh, trapped by a bunch of monsters uh, where they just p pound the hell out of you. You can actually uh, cast a Earthen Bulwark and move through them and sort of bounce around and, and hit them from the back. Uh, then this uh, weapon is really important. So those, if, if people play uh, Diablo, you'll know this is actually this is a hard to find weapon and it's, it's awesome. Um, great staff of the crone. Uh, and it has, uh, on the high, high side of uh, claw ranks, it's uh, nine ranks of claw. Uh, and just does, does, does a bunch of damage. But like I said, the, the most important thing is that this um, it, it does a claw a claw attack, uh, which is a very fast attack. But that claw attack is simultaneously also a storm strike. Um, then on the necklace, <laughs> so it'd be nice to have an, an, a necklace in real life that had these <laughs> had all these things. Um, it's remarkable that a necklace can do so much damage reduction. Uh, but it's doing overall damage reduction, damage swa reduction while fortified, uh, increasing armor and werewolf form. So I'm actually much stronger in werewolf form than in human form. Uh, and uh, importantly, 17% uh, damage reduction from enemies that are poisoned. So uh, both with my direct attack and with poison creeper, I'm going to be poisoning the enemies, thus dropping their damage by 17%. Uh, and then the really essential uh, nature's fury, um, the symbiotic aspect, which uh, when on a necklace uh, gives you a 50% increase in what would normally be 5 seconds but raises it to 8 seconds uh, so that it helps reset the cooldown on Earth and Bulwark. Um, on the ring, uh, most important here is that the basic skill increase uh, is um, get a 27% basic skill attack increase um, because uh, I'm also using I'm using that basic skill again to reset my my more powerful spells. Although the basic skill is actually pretty good uh, with the Great Staff of the Crone, but for serious like boss fights, uh, you really just want to use the basic skill to uh, reset the cooldowns on uh, your on your you know, other spells. Um, I'm using spell generically. It's called different things in the game, um, and then um, this is a also increasing damage, so more damage to vulnerable enemies, damage if they're closed, uh, damage if they're crowd controlled, um, which means if they're like, if you're able to slow them down or knock them back, and various things called crowd control. Um, and then also an a amplified, uh, you'll see also an amplified damage to poison enemies, uh, since I'm going to be poisoning them pretty much all the time. And then the um, Ring of Natural Balance, uh, which is, works well with Nature's Fury. Uh, which uh, buffs up a uh, storm if you cast a earth spell and uh, buffs up earth if you cast a storm spell. So that's a pretty nice and they're at the upper end of the s scale. So in Diablo, Diablo you've got like a range of what it can be. In this case uh, it's at the upper end of the range. It took me ages to find this one. <laughs> um, and then um, in terms of the uh, gems I've uh, skulls to improve armor across here. I've got um, uh, amethyst for damage reduction while fortified, so that's like as up to about 9% increments there. And then uh, damage reduction while control impaired. Uh, in the higher level dungeons, you're uh, almost always control impaired, so m meaning that they're doing things to you to, to slow you, chill you, daze you, knock you over, all sorts of other things. And you get, in this case, 20% uh, uh, damage reduction while that's happening. So. Um, and then I got my sort of uh, two fun pieces here, which is I, I don't use them for high level combat, but I can use them for lower level stuff. Um, and these these two actually they're kind of fun. I could probably use them in this. I'll try using them in this dungeon actually. Um, they're sli they're they allow me to move very fast, but they're not as uh, damage resistant as the other ones, so I can like switch them out. Um, and this makes my natural form a uh, werewolf. Um, and I can also move really fast. So, um, for spirit boons, what I got here is reduced reduction from elites, um, 
increased attack speed. In this case, I've got uh, um, critical strikes reduce the cooldown of my companion, um, uh, <laughs> which uh, Poison Creeper is somehow a companion. Um, interesting pet to have. Um, <laughs> uh, but since I'm, I'm going to be criti uh, uh, critical striking a lot, so this is basically saying I've got a 1 in 5 chance of resetting my uh, Poison Creeper from uh, a 20 second cooldown to uh, immediately being able to use it. So if I'm doing a lot of attacks and, uh, you know, kind of uh, critical strike five times, my Poison Creeper is going to reset. Um, so in a, in a heavy battle, this basically means I can spam uh, Poison Creeper. Uh, and then a Fortified Bolster. In the high-level dungeons, uh, Fortify drains fast, so you want to have you want to boost Fortify. And uh, Fortify uh, gives you 15% uh, Fortification for defensive skill. And uh, both um, Cyclone Armor uh, and um, Bulwark are considered defensive skills, even though I'm using them offensively. Uh, so. So when I cast my offensive skills, I get a fortification improvement. Uh, and then um, critical strikes with shape-shifting shape -shifting skills, which would um, flow is a shape-shifting skill as well. Uh, so when I uh, cast this, which I cast it very fast, you can see with my armor change, Claw is now at level 14. Um, uh, I am constantly healing myself with uh, critical strikes. Uh, as well as with uh, Blood Hell. So, abilities. Uh, again, this is going to vary depending on what armor you've got on. Uh, normally, you can only take a skill up to level 5. In this case, with all the uh, you know enhancements I've got in the armor, it's actually rank 14 out of 5. So, it does like a ridiculous amount of damage, even though it's a basic attack. Um, and then just sort of speeding things up. So, you're just looking for a fast attack speed. Um, I mean, this is like sort of sort of a speedrunner build. Um, although I would not say I'm a skilled speedrunner. I can, yeah, res clear a dungeon pretty fast for so you know someone who doesn't do it a lot. Um, so th since this dual stri du dual use storm strike, uh, it's getting the uh, modifiers for storm strike, so it'll immobilize uh, enemies and make them vulnerable. Uh, it's but the high-level dungeons, it's, you, you need to keep the uh, the monsters vulnerable all the time. Um, uh, it massively increases the amount of damage that you do, um, and the high-level monsters are like basically tanks. Um, yeah, so some basic stuff. Uh, you, you're just looking to amplify your damage uh, reduction as much as possible. So I'm using defensive skills all the time. So vigilance is pretty much always there. So 15% 15, 15 damage reduction. Um, you've, you've got Blood Howl here. Normally it would be rank 1, but I have the... Um, I switched to Mad Wolf's Glee, which gives me th three extra ranks of Werewolf skills. Uh, going through this pretty fast. This is going to seem like total... Uh, probably total, you know, Greek to... Or ancient Greek to someone who's not played the game or doesn't look at a lot of video games, but I'm trying to speak to a wide range of audiences here. Um, and, uh, yep, Poison Creeper, just rank one. And as I said, this is the really the important part of uh, <laughs> Poison Creeper, which is Brutal Poison Creeper, 20% increase in critical strike. Um, then uh, here I've got Envenom, which is increases critical strike damage by 60%. Uh, also, uh, Critical Strike will poison slightly. This is important for the poison effect. Poison also slows slightly, gives them the slow effect, which, again, amplifies damage. Uh, I've got Crushing Earth here, maxed out. Uh, so 15% damage increase. A little bit of Fortification here. Stone Guard, also 12% damage increase. Uh, Defiance, 12% damage to Elites. Uh, and this, you know, also uh, buffs uh, Earth and, it's, well, you can read it, basically. <laughs> um, and then this is actually pretty cool resonance. Which if, you, if you're casting Earth and Storm skills, which I'm constantly doing, uh, one after the other uh, results in a, an 18% uh, damage increase. Um, and then uh, 
quick shift is not that important, but this is important when shape shift into a werewolf, get another 12% damage reduction against elites. Elites are the ones that usually kill you. Um, now the interesting thing here is I'm not actually using uh, any ultimate, I'm not using an ultimate attack. So ultimate attack would be Cataclysm or Lacerate, uh, or the most common one would be uh, Grizzly Rage, uh, or if you uh, and, and, and sometimes people will convert Grizzly Rage into a dire uh, werewolf. Uh, but I'm not using that. I'm just using a, a, a key passive, which is uh, Nature's Fury. You can do it either way, but um, I'm not saying this is the best build, but it is the build that I've got. And on the Paragon boards, um, get your basic board here, uh, and then sort of th the Thunderstruck board. I mostly want the uh, Undaunted Glyph here. Uh, so again, looking for damage reduction. For, for the high tier dungeons, just uh, not being killed instantly is the goal. So uh, you want really damage reduction. Um, I think more than you even want attack attack capability. So I'm, I, I'm, I'm usually heavily fortified, so I get 10% damage reduction here. Um, I, I won't go into like the gruesome details, but as you can see, Diablo can get uh, Diablo 4 can be pretty complicated uh, because you can have uh, you pick from I think roughly eight, I think eight boards, uh, and you can rotate the boards. So depending on how you pick what boards you pick and how you rotate them and attach them, it's sort of like if you mix the game Go with Dungeons and Dragons. It's a bit like that. Um, it's a lot of ways to combine these boards. Um, but I'm mostly lo looking for since this is configured for uh, high tier dungeons. Uh, I'm mostly looking for uh, damage reduction. So uh, this is like a pretty important one here, uh, outmatch. So outmatch is amplifying uh, the uh, the armor from the rare node. So the armor rare node is, is the, uh, giving me an uh, incremental 440 armor plus another 220. So uh, armor, yeah, super important in this game. Um, and um, they're going out of here. Uh, Protector against ten percent damage reduction while I have an active barrier. I usually have an active barrier, um, and it's increasing critical strike damage with Earth skills. Uh, Bulwark is my primary attack, um, so and that's another skill. So it's also improving resistance to elements, but th that's not that important. Um, nice to have critical strike with the Earth skills is is pretty important. Um, so. Let's over to finally get to Werewolf. Um, and this is mostly... Uh, it's, it's gain. I actually care more about the damage reduction than I do about the attack capabilities. Um, so, and I've got damage reduction from en enemies that are poisoned. Goes back to Poison Creeper and my poison attack. So, uh, I'm, I'm looking to reduce the damage done by, by enemies as much as possible. So... Um, if you're dead, uh, then your the amount of damage you can do is very low. Uh, so I'm trying to be, be not dead for high-level dungeons. Um, so this this is only uh, you know a mere uh, level tier 69, so it's not not really that hard. Um, you can see I'm like moving really fast here with the werewolf. So, th these things are show all of the various buffs, debuffs, and other effects that happen. Um, so, uh, oh, I forgot to mention one thing that I think is pretty helpful is uh, Ghost Walker's aspect on the uh, boots. Uh, so, uh, while I'm while you're in what the game calls Unstoppable, uh, and for four seconds thereafter, I gain movement speed. But most importantly, I can move freely through enemies. So, uh, w I the higher levels you get trapped in like a, a sort of a, a massive group of enemies and you can get, they can sometimes pin you down uh, and uh, you just can't get away and they kill you. So, um, Ghost Walker allows you to move through them and, uh, and bounce around, avoid, the, avoid the, uh, ult the sort of power attack or ultimate attack of the uh, monsters and sort of basically dart, 
dart behind them and hit, hit them from behind. So that's actually a really important one. Um, yeah. So. So. I'm just looking at the comments here. Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> The, the, the stream is delayed by some, I think, I don't know, five to ten seconds, so I'll see the comments like a little later than um, they're, they're made. <laughs> oh, it's dark. Uh, yeah, it's kind of dark, I guess. Well. Anyway, this is a. Uh, Uh, the affixes matter on, on these dungeons quite a lot, so... Um, here, um... I generally look at what the what, what the monsters can do, so non-boss monsters can regenerate uh, life and they take less damage from uh, overpower. They have the suppressor affix, makes them harder to kill. Um, and they deal incremental light lightning damage. So, uh, I'll just zip through this real fast and... So I find it's pretty helpful to just bounce around, uh, so that uh, you, they will, they'll be attacking the place that you used to be, as opposed to the place where you are. You'll see like vulnerables popping a lot there. That's really important. Um, but like I said, this is uh, finally level 69. Kind of hard to see what's going on. What the? Ah, come on! That was embarrassing, almost died. <laughs> Alright. This is uh, often uh, in the high tier dungeons where it's often the hardest part. Because they'll trap you in this room. And you have to like try to 
Do not die while you're in this room. And try to avoid those lightning lances. So now it's uh, Slay the Vampire Lords. <laughs> so. Anyway, the general idea here is to, uh, you know, if you want to stream on the X platform, you can. You can do it right now, actually. Uh, the user interface is... Uh, kind of complicated. Uh, we want to make it easy. Uh, but you can use OBS. So if you're using OBS already, uh, you can attach to X as a stream. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm using OBS. Um, it's uh, open source. So I think we can do a modified version of OBS and just uh, kind of Fork the code so you it's easier to use for most people. Uh, or if you want to use uh, you know full OBS you can. Um, but I think it, we just need to make it kind of like one click and you go and it just works. So. So I try to use the shrine, which uh, shrines normally buff you, but a lot of the times on the nightmare dungeons, the the, the shrines are actually just a, they're they're um, cursed. So you have to get a attacked by demons when you try to use it, like these guys. And once you survive, you can use the shrine. Ah, uh, Condor Shrine. This is cool. You you turn yourself into lightning. So I'm like a lightning ball. <laughs> He's running around. Hey guys. <laughs> uh, and as as you can see, um, <laughs> my name is I will never die. This is not true. I have died many times, um, but I think it's a funny name. Um, uh, and I, my title is uh, Rampage in Code. I mean, if you ever seen a goat in a rampage, it can be pretty tough. So I gotta find the other vampire. No, actually, I can t travel to the vault. So I'm gonna do that. Let's go skip these guys and go a little here. Mm. Never mind. There we go.
Uh, so oddly enough, the uh, the boss fights in the in the nightmare dungeons are uh, often the easiest part of the game. So I'm gonna take this care of this guy real fast. It's a piece cake, basically. Uh, usually the uh, elite fights right before this are are much harder. So you can uh, increase your glyph capabilities here. The glyphs go up to level 21. Um, and uh, I have uh, Territorial at 21. And then I've got Outmatch, Werewolf, Undaunted, and Protector. Um, the one I want to actually get to 21 is uh, Outmatch, so I'm going to allocate the XP to that. Um, the Outmatch one is uh, amplifying my armor. So trying to get that to max level is, is going to be good for the higher level dungeons. Teleport back to town. Alright. And uh, that was just a test of the system. Um, and I'll, I'll do another test uh, tomorrow uh, and do do I don't know, maybe a level 99 or 100. Um, now, a level nine, you really need to be on your toes uh, if it's like a 99, 100 level d uh, dungeon. Like the, so the, the hardest, just for those who don't know anything about the game, uh, there's this four levels uh, in, in Diablo. There's kind of like the sort of basic level, veteran, uh, then nightmare, and then, and then torment. The le torment level is beyond nightmare. Within torment, there are nightmare tier dungeons. Uh, which go from uh, level 1 to 100. So a level 100 dungeon uh, in Torment is... Uh, uh, that's, that, that's, that's really quite difficult. Um, and um, you can't be like tired or tipsy or anything. Usually it's like you're, you're gonna die. Um, uh, I mean, any mistake in a, in a Nightmare 100 level dungeon, you, you're gonna die. Um, so... I just need to be, let, you know, n not uh, tired to do that. Um, but I, uh, I did complete a level uh, 99 about a week ago, and um, and then I did a tier 100 yesterday. So, um, so it's, it's definitely doable. Um, and I think I might be able to. It was kind of a struggle to do the tier 100. Um, I refactored my Paragon board, so now uh, it should be, I think, a little easier. Um, and I'm sure there's like tons of mistakes in my Paragon boards, and I'm doing a bunch of dumb stuff. But um, yeah, nonetheless, I did clear tier 100. Um, perhaps not as elegantly as it could have been done, but um, so I'll I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, well, you'll you'll basically see. I'll, I'll try it, and you can see uh, I may fail. <laughs> um, uh, but it'll be hopefully entertaining either way. So, um, and th the way we set it up is the, that the comments um, are, uh, that, that only subscribers can actually uh, do comments. So I think uh, for those who are doing streaming, gaming and whatnot, the, I think one of the advantages of, is, is if you enable subscriptions in the X platform, uh, then you can talk directly to your subscribers and, um, you know, kind of have a, cool kind of discussion among, I don't know, people that uh, subscribe to you or like you or whatever. Um, so, um, <laughs> uh, this is like probably the biggest ad for Diablo ever, but whatever. I, it's, it's a great game. I, it's, I, it's, it, um, and uh, one of the nice things about Diablo is you can do a pickup game with friends very easily, even if they're, you know, other side of the country or elsewhere in the world um, you can do solo and and you can sort of go find a friend and uh, you know so I, I actually play with friends of mine uh, and we'll just uh, do a quick pickup game and you know it's just nice can you get to, like hang out with friends and play a game at the same time so it's cool um, yes and it subs only uh, in, in comments is uh, 
uh, it's you know it's a nice perk if uh, for subscribing. Um, and generally, we're gonna uh, enable more more things like that, so it's it's pretty cool. <laughs> Burnt hair candles, yeah, exactly. Um, so, uh, all right. Well, um, well thanks everyone for uh, popping in, and um, <laughs> I hopefully I'll be able to do a, do a tier 100 dungeon maybe uh, tomorrow or the next day I don't know, probably tomorrow night uh, after work so um, anyway this was cool, it was a fun experience uh, and good work by the ex uh, engineering team getting it all set up and, and cruising um, well helping me set it up uh, since uh, OBS is a little hard to use um, <laughs> and, and uh, we, we had this problem where we got us stuck for a while where um, I was uh, sounding like a chipmunk, um, <laughs> so it's because the voice the voice sampling rate uh, on OBS was different from the voice sampling rate on my uh, PC, so, so I had like this high pitched voice, uh, which was pretty funny. Um, uh, but we, anyway, uh, we, we fixed that. So, um, all right. So anyway, thanks guys. I'll see you maybe tomorrow night or. Sometime soon. Alright. I'll end the stream with that.